Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice squared problem? Solution from here. From what we have here, we need to define the domain. That is, we need the domain here, non negative, which implies we should have x plus 9 greater or equals to 0. And this implies that our x here is greater. Or equals to minus 9 or also we have 9 minus x should be greater than equals to 0 which implies x also less or equals to 9 then next step let's set the radical here as a letter that is let a be equals to root x plus 9 and also b be equals to root 9 minus x then we can rewrite this equation now in terms of a and b that is a plus b is equals to 6 the next step here we square both sides of this equation and we have a plus b all square equals to six square and the expansion here give us a square plus b square plus two a b then equals to six square that's thirty six that is we substitute a square and b square from here. When we square both sides, a square is equal to simply x plus 9. Because square we cancel square root. Also, b square equals to 9 minus x. So when we write it out here, it implies we have a square which is x plus 9, then plus b square which is also 9 minus x then plus 2ab then equals to 36 on this side and here when we remove the bracket we still have x plus 9 plus 9 minus x then plus 2ab equals to 36 here this is x minus x this cancel out uh, this we have 9 plus 9 that's 18 that's 18 plus 2 a b equals to 36 then we take 18 to the other side we mean 2 a b that's 2 a b equals to 36 minus 18 then 2 a b equals to 18 here then divide both sides by 2 to get AB. That is, yeah, to cancel each other. And we have AB equals to 9. AB equals to 9. That is, and when we substitute the value of A and B, this equation becomes root x plus 9 multiplied by root x. 9 minus x then equals to 9 then since this multiply you can bring it together under same roots and we can have roots x plus 9 then multiply by also 9 minus x which is equals to 9 on this side that this also we square both sides also from here when we square both sides we have square root of x plus 9 then times 9 minus x all square here then equals to 9 square at this here this square cancel square roots and we have x plus 9 into brackets then open brackets 9 
minus x close brackets equals to 9 square here that's 81 then this follows when we have a plus b into brackets open brackets a minus b this is same thing as a square minus b square also here a is x we can say this is x square minus b is 9 this we have 9 square that is no there is an error here so we need to rewrite this this is x x is carrying minus so we can write this and we have first we can say this is can be written as 9 plus x now multiply by 9 minus x equals to 81 then easily now we can say 9 is having as a so we can say 9 square minus b is x that's x square equals to 81 here okay so that here next square that's 81 then minus x square also equals to 81 here that is we can take 81 here minus x square there that is we have 81 then this plus become minus minus 81 equals to minus x square become plus x square and 81 minus 81 0 equals to x square which also can be written as x square equals to 0 and square root on both sides we still have x equals to 0 here we have this as the unique solution to this problem x equals to 0 now we can check to verify if this solution here will satisfy this given problem remember what we condition we have here that is now let's put zero here now for x that is x equals to zero this become square root of zero which is x plus nine then plus square root of nine minus zero is it equals to six here then from here This becomes square root of 9 plus also this same thing as square root of 9 is equals to 6 here. And root 9 that's 3 plus also 3. This is equals to 6 here. Of course, 3 plus 3 is 6, which is equals to 6. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Thank you for watching. So we have x equals to 0 satisfy this given problem. Subscribe for more videos. Turn on the notification bell and share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.